Here's a question worth thinking about. What's the area of the region trapped between these two exponential curves? The blue one is y equals 8e to the negative x, and the green one is y equals e to the 2x. This shaded region here, bounded by the y-axis on the left, the blue curve on top, and the green curve below. The natural question is, how would you compute this area? Let's think about the strategy. Finding the area between two curves actually requires three key pieces. First, we need to find where these curves intersect. This intersection point will give us the right boundary for our integral. Second, we set up the definite integral. The idea is to integrate the difference between the upper and lower functions across the interval. And third, we evaluate that integral using the fundamental theorem of calculus. So let's work through each of these steps. All right, step one, where do these curves meet? To find the intersection, we set the two functions equal. So e to the 2x equals 8e to the negative x. Now, the goal is to isolate x. Notice we have this e to the negative x term on the right. If we multiply both sides by e to the x, it cancels with e to the negative x, leaving us with e to the 2x times e to the x equals 8. Now, here's where exponent rules come in. When you multiply exponentials with the same base, you add the exponents. So 2x plus x gives us 3x, and we get e to the 3x equals 8. To solve for x, we need to undo this exponential. The tool for that is the natural logarithm, taking the natural log of both sides. And since the natural log and the exponential function are inverses, they cancel, leaving us with 3x equals the natural log of 8. Now, there's a useful logarithm property we can apply here. The log of a number raised to a power equals that power times the log of the number. Notice that 8 can be written as 2 to the third power. So we have 3x equals the natural log of 2 cubed. Using the power rule, we can bring that exponent down in front, which gives us 3x equals 3 times the natural log of 2. And now we can divide both sides by 3, giving us x equals the natural log of 2. That's our intersection point. All right, now that we know the boundary, let's compute the area. The key idea for finding area between curves is to integrate the difference between the upper and lower functions over the interval. In our case, we integrate from 0 to the natural log of 2, taking the upper function minus the lower function. Before we integrate, let's verify which function is actually on top. While the graph suggests the ordering, it's good practice to confirm that 8e to the negative x is greater than or equal to e to the 2x on our interval. A simple check is to plug in a test point from the interval. The left end point, x equals 0, is convenient. So at x equals 0, the first curve gives us 8. The second curve gives us 1. Since 8 is greater than 1, and the functions only meet at the right end point, the blue curve is indeed the upper function throughout. So our integral is set up correctly. With that confirmed, Let's evaluate this integral. We need the antiderivatives of these exponential functions. The antiderivative of 8e to the negative x is negative 8e to the negative x. And for e to the 2x, it's 1 half e to the 2x. Now we evaluate from 0 to the natural log of 2. By the fundamental theorem, we plug in the upper limit, subtract the result of plugging in the lower limit. Let's substitute these values in. To simplify, we need two facts. A coefficient in front of a logarithm can move inside as an exponent, 
and e to the natural log of something just gives you that something. Let's simplify each of these exponential terms. e to the negative log of 2 becomes e to the log of 1 half, which is just 1 half. And e to the 2 times log of 2 becomes e to the log of 4, which is 4. Also, e to the 0 is 1. Substituting everything gives us a purely arithmetic expression. In the first bracket, negative 8 times 1 half is negative 4 and one-half of four is two. So that's negative six in the first bracket. And in the second bracket, we have negative 8.5. Negative six minus negative 8.5, which is the same as negative six plus 8.5. And that gives us 2.5. So the area of the shaded region is 2.5 square units. If you found this helpful, consider leaving a like and subscribing for more problem walkthroughs. Thanks for watching.